so this presentation i had presented in my college on uh, on like uh, energy conservation day that was on 14th of december and uh, every year like uh, since 1992 of uh, 14th of december is celebrated as uh, i can say energy conservation day in order to uh, in order to showcase the uh, energy efficiency of our country and also to let the people know the importance of energy conservation and all so uh, the session outlines of my presentation was introduction like what uh, uh, what uh, energy conservation is and the conservation of energy at various levels at what other levels we can conserve uh, we can conserve the energy and we all i also discussed about the major renewable sources energy efficient devices concept of energy auditing and energy conservation act like related to certain uh, policies and all and finally uh, i uh, did with the conclusion right i have already presented this uh, ppt in my college on that day now like i'm just uploading it on youtube and just giving the brief of it uh like in the introduction section i covered uh, like uh, what is energy conservation right and uh, i mean uh, industrial and commercial even at individual levels what in uh, i could say energy conservation could be right similarly these are the my slides like conservation of energy at various levels i discussed about the household levels energy conservation at community level energy conservation in industry and other places energy conservation in transportation sector even we can conserve the energy at transportation levels also i'm not like i'm not going to make the video a bit longer but i just like to keep it short uh, so it was like energy conservation at household levels i have discussed uh, the several aspects like where in household levels we could conserve the energy where i have discussed about the refrigerator microwave and ironing cooking washing machine lighting cooling right similarly uh, even i discussed about the energy conservation at community level like community level i have a uh, Oh, like uh, make I have also discussed certain point points, right? Now, uh, energy conservation at community level, uh, especially use of renewable energy sources. I have discussed that two, that points also. Energy conservation at community level, uh, the same and the, like few points like uh, peak time and non-peak time. You know, uh, as I I have mentioned, the water pumps should be switched off during the non-peak utility hours. uh we have uh, the lift or the elevators in our college or the universities uh, so when it is non peak hour we could make it off or we could operate a single lift or the single elevator like that even in the industry uh, energy conservation at industrial levels so i have like uh, pointed certain things auditing process modification improved uh, improved measuring instrument energy loss reduction light load reduction these are the things similarly energy conservation in transportation sector i have like made it uh, like i have uh, i mean gathered certain points uh going to the next like major renewable energy resources what are the main major energy renewable resources in our country solar energy wind energy hydro energy biomass energy tidal energy geothermal energy and biofuel like this is the current capacity of the india that we get the electricity in gigawatt uh, so this is the date of 31st august 2022 uh, i have taken this from one of the government organization government website they 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 have like published it on their portal so i have taken it from there and uh, energy efficient devices like talking about the cfl talking about the pressure cooker talking about the steam cooker solar cooker talking about the like i could say uh, cooling you know so these are solar cooling and all right so uh, like these things uh, concept of energy auditing is how energy aud auditing is important so i have mentioned the points right um, energy policy of india we uh, i have categorized it into three parts like uh, energy policy of india short term policies uh, medium term policies and uh, the third is long term policies uh, of course the advantages of energy conservation i have discussed here coming to the conclusion finally i did the conclusion like uh, energy is a short supply in india and it is expensive of course and especially for the industry so a proper management of energy resources is very important for, uh, in our country and uh, also like uh, we know that if we use more technical things like uh, technology we involve technology in our day to day life then it is definitely gonna uh, gonna reduce our energy consumption by 20% right and uh, also uh, the the things that are, uh, i have concluded about like more in renewable resources can be used at consumer level for energy conservation and also the third th the thing that is very important is that uh, we should educate the people about the importance of energy conservation and all right so in this way i finished my uh, presentation in the college
and thank you so much if you need the pdf of this present presentation please uh, ask me in the comment section thank you